Welcome to Koha part 2 Koha installation. We'll learn add Koha repository and uh, install Koha and so on and so forth. We'll try to install Koha current stable. This is the part 2 and what you will be learning is add Koha repository, a stable version. And <clears throat> we will install Perl language uh, dependency, download and install it and then Koha and then we'll update, update uh, the system. Okay, in your uh, earlier part, which is uh, part one, you have learned about root, update, Ubuntu system, and then install MySQL and secure it at the same time. So, <clears throat> we have also successfully logged into MSQL, uh, MySQL, I mean. Mm. This is part two. So, let us uh, go straight with step one, adding Koha repository. First, we'll try to add the uh, GPG file and then we'll add the repository and uh, from there on, we'll see what we proceed. These are the command line which we will be using for adding. I can go to Wikipedia and I'll show the first command line. I'm copying it. It's the same one that I've used in the text note. And let me open my terminal. Here in my terminal, I'm going to log into my super user, which is the root. Uh, my password is dot 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 uh, here. Okay, as you can see that I am already in the root. Let me paste that first command line which I have copied. Okay, this is adding the Koha repository. This is the first line. Okay, this is the stable version. The second, this second line here, it's the <coughs> old stable command line. Okay, and for the third command line is the unstable which is in the developmental stage. So we're going to use the main stable, which is the stable version. Okay the main so we'll add it okay it will link to the website okay here there it is uh, let us go with the second command line uh, we'll try to add the key uh, by using the vget ca command and uh, it's not it's gpg.asc key okay it's an asynchronous uh, key which used to secure the connection and also at the same time uh, to avoid any uh, you know warning messages at the time of our installation i'm copying that and then i'm pasting it here all right i'll just enter okay it will okay yeah okay all right let me see request send everything and then writing to stand out okay cello fine um this uh will follow with the next step uh which is uh Installing Perl dependency, Perl modules, you call them whatever, and we will gonna take this command. Uh, this is for installing because down the line uh, we don't want to face any problem uh, at the time when we do web installer of Koha. We have already completed the adding Koha repository and adding the key. Okay, two things, two command we have used so far. So I will then let's just go with the flow and update our Ubuntu. Previously, I have updated my Ubuntu just because this is a fresh installation. This is my system. Uh, let me just see. It will run, update, and if I wish to upgrade, I can do so. If I don't want, it's up to me. And I'll just see what are the components that are there from the archive of uh, Debian Koha. Okay. So it reads out all the list and it is fetching all the packages and subsidiary modules of uh, Ubuntu. Okay. Uh, uh, remember, I have not gone to step 11. I have just uh, shown you updating of the system, uh, which is going with the flow. Uh, it's here it says two packages can be upgraded. Okay. So I, if I run this command, I will see them. App list dash dash upgradable. So I'll, I want to see the list. What are those uh, uh, modules of uh, Debian? It's in config, uh, okay, of Ubuntu. And second is the focal update, which is uh, upgraded from this version to this version. This this is a firmware, actually. Okay, so it's up to me if I wish to uh, upgrade. I have just used the command update. I have not upgraded yet. Uh, now, uh, we will skip install Perl module. We'll just go to step. 12 uh, uh, let me take you to the koha wiki and uh, download and install the latest koha release so we will try to use this is a wiki information okay a very reliable one it's supported by the koha community developers community and i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna paste it uh, it's the same command uh, download and install koha is the same command see here 
uh, this I have taken from there. You can follow the Y key, not necessarily follow me. Pearl, I can add it later or I can add it now. It's all the same. So for now, I'll just go with step 12. I'm skipping 12, uh, 11, step 11. So this is step 12. Download and install Koha. Paste there. Okay. Yes, I wish to continue. Okay. Let's see. It is downloading all the packages now and then it will also automatically install it because uh, that command is for uh, downloading it's completed it may take a while because koha is 37 mb or something like that i did not show you but uh, it's 37 or something mb now i'm going to install Perl in order to avoid any error down the line when i try to go for web installer okay uh, it also processes a text string analysis of file and then it also used for generating SQL that it has a text handling capability. So if you want to learn about uh, more about it, you can check the website of Perl language. Uh, here I'm using the quote and I'll just copy it and uh, I'm going to enter it here and paste it and let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Install. Okay. Done. 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 Building dependency. TK. Okay, 3.62. Uh, it's already the neighbor's version it mentioned here. Okay, so sometimes when you uh, downloaded it, uh, sometimes uh, when you download and install Koha, it usually. And here, <coughs> second, add Koha repository. First, we're trying to add GPG file. No, this is the step nine which I've already done. Uh, actually, I have made slight mistake here. First, I have to make correction here so that for you guys to know. First, I add the repository, which is the first command line here, the echo depth command line. And second, second, and and then add, later add the gpg uh, dot asc key, the one with the wget uh, command line, okay? This is important because uh, this will encrypt your uh, key and uh, the messages which you transfer between OS and the software will have no problem. That's why we use the, the key, we add the GPG key. Okay, this is the first line that you should follow accordingly. Use the Koha Y key always and the second line. TK, uh, let me just mention here so that for you to be a little bit clearer, first add a Koha repository of a Koha and second add the GPG, oh my goodness that's not a NAS at G P G key all right okay done thank you very much part two is complete follow part three for more to come thank you